In this lesson, Surface Area Prisms, we'll look at three different prisms and how to calculate their surface areas. Surface area is the total area of the surface of a three-dimensional object. It is the sum of the area of all its sides. We'll begin by finding the surface area of a box, also known as a rectangular base prism, with a width of 2 meters, a length of 4 meters, and a height of 3 meters. To construct this prism, we'll draw two rectangles and then connect the vertices with lines. We'll put in the dimensions and we'll set up a table to calculate the area of all its sides. In this case, all the sides are rectangles. So the area is simply length times width. We'll begin with the front and back of the box, having a length of 3 meters and a width of 2 meters, giving us an area of 6 meters squared. The left and right rectangles have a length of 4 meters, a width of 3 meters, and will give us an area of 12 meters squared. The top and bottom rectangles have a length of 4 meters, and a width of 2 meters, giving us an area of 8 square meters. Now all we do is add up the areas of all its sides. We have two sides that are 6 square meters, two sides that are 12 square meters, and two sides that are 8 square meters, giving us a total surface area of 52 square meters. Next, we'll find the surface area of a triangular base prism having a width of 6 centimeters, a length of 8 centimeters, and a height of 4 centimeters. To construct this triangular base prism, we'll start with two triangles, and then again connect the vertices with lines. We'll put in our dimensions. We are almost ready to calculate the surface area. However, we are missing an important dimension. To find this dimension, we can use the right angle triangle that appears in the base of the prism. The height of which is 4 centimeters and the base is half the width of the prism which is 3 centimeters. We can use Pythagoras theorem to figure out the missing side. We'll substitute in our values, square the two sides, take their sum, and then take the square root to find the missing dimension of 5 centimeters. Now we can accurately calculate the surface area of this prism. We'll begin with the two triangular bases. The area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2, giving us an area of 12 square centimeters. The bottom of the prism is a rectangle with a width of 6 and a length of 8, giving us an area of 48 square centimeters. The two side rectangles have a width of 5 and a length of 8, giving us an area of 40 square centimeters. To calculate the total surface area, we will have 2 times 12, the two triangular bases, plus 48, the area of the bottom rectangle, plus 2 times 40, the area of our two side rectangles, giving us a total surface area of 152 square centimeters. Next, we will calculate the surface area of a cylinder having a diameter of 10 centimeters and a height of 12 centimeters. To produce this cylinder, we'll draw two circles appearing as ovals and then connect the two ovals with a pair of parallel lines. We'll put in our dimensions and set up our table to calculate the surface area. The base of the cylinder is a circle and the area of a circle is pi r squared. The side of the cylinder takes a little more work to figure out. First we have to unravel it from the cylinder and then stretch it out to produce a rectangle. The width of this rectangle would be the same as the height of the cylinder or 12 centimeters and the length of the rectangle would be the same as the circumference of the circle, which would be 2 pi r. 
We can now simply calculate the side of the cylinder by multiplying the length and width of this rectangle, 2 pi r times h. The surface area of the cylinder becomes 2 pi r squared, representing the two circles, plus 2 pi r h, representing the side of the cylinder. We can now use this formula to calculate the surface area of our cylinder. We'll substitute in 5 for the radius and 12 for height, giving us a final answer of 534.07 centimeters squared, accurate to two decimal places.